hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding engine sounds to our vehicle okay so for that go ahead and download this audios folder okay in here you will find this uh, engine sound okay you can use your own engine sound if you have okay so just simply drag and drop that folder inside the uh, game folder and as you can see here is the audio okay and if you hear this Okay, it is really loud, but this will be our engine sound. Okay, then go ahead and open up the car controller. And in the car controller right here, what we're going to do, we're going to add a reference to a audio source. Let's name this as engine sound. Okay, then we're going to create a reference to a audio clip let's name this as engine clip okay to this we're gonna add our uh, engine sound clip which I have talked about previously okay this engine clip so if you click on your vehicle right here first of all add a audio source okay and make this audio source 3d and then just simply drag and drop it in there and for the engine clip we're gonna drag and drop this engine clip okay now after this in the start method what we're gonna do after this if condition we're gonna set up our audio source component okay so let's uh, type right here that engine sound dot loop and we want the loop to be set to true okay because we want that looping to be true you can either set it from the start right here or you can uh, click this loop right here as well okay just simply click loop and remove that play on awake okay if you do it manually you can do that manually and if you want to do it right here you can do that as well okay just simply type engine sound now we want to disable the play on awake so we're gonna type play on awake and this is gonna be equals to false okay and also we want to adjust the volume because as you know that the video clip volume is too loud so we're gonna set the volume to 0 0.5 okay and after this we're gonna set the pitch so we're gonna say sound uh, engine sound dot pitch and this is gonna be equals to 1 and then after this uh, we're gonna say actually let's leave this one okay you just need to type these uh, four things now if we scroll down let me see where it is in the uh, calculate car movement right here we break and then right here when the car is not breaking right here after this Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust engine sound based on car movement okay to make it uh, realistic so what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna check that if the car speed converted is greater than zero okay and the handbrake is not true then what we're gonna do it means that the car is now moving so right here we're gonna say engine sound dot and pause okay then now after this we're gonna simulate changing gears based on speed okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a float by the name of gear ratio and this is gonna be equals to a current speed and divide that by the maximum speed of the vehicle okay and the number of gears in our car will be okay this is actually not the gears which will be used for the car speed okay this is just uh, gears for the sound okay to make the sound more realistic so, I mean it will give an demonstration or you can say it will give a feel of uh, the car that the car, uh, car is changing gears okay it will uh, change the sound that according to each of the gear so we just set the number of gears to six you can set it to eight or five whatever you want okay 
then I'm going to set the uh, current uh, gear to mathf dot clamp and we're going to clamp it between the gear ratio and number of gears so let me say uh, mathf dot floor to integer then we're going to say gear ratio and let's multiply that by number of gears and then we're going to say plus one one and number of gears okay and you don't have to understand this and it is actually uh, simple things okay to change the engine sounds okay now what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna adjust the pitch and volume based on the current gear okay so first of all uh, let's start with the pitch so we will create a float by the name of pitch multiplier this is going to be equals to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 and let's multiply that by the current actually the car speed converted let's first of all try it with this okay and let's multiply that by the maximum speed okay so this is for the pitch now let's also set up the volume so we will create a volume multiplier okay and this is going to be equals to 0 0.2 f plus 0 0.8 f and then we're gonna multiply that by the same thing so we can just copy that paste it right here and then after this we're gonna say engine sound dot pitch this is gonna be equals to math f dot lerp let's pass 0 0.5 f then 1.0 f and then the pitch multiplier and let's multiply that by the current gear okay then the engine uh, sound dot volume will be equals to the volume multiplier all right so this is uh, uh we are setting right here we are actually just setting up the car volume and pitch whenever the car is moving okay now when the car is uh, decreasing the speed or you can say when the car is uh, stopped then we also want to uh, play the same sound okay like uh like when we start our car and there is that engine sound okay the idle engine sound so if the car is stopped we will simulate a low idle pitch okay so for doing that we're gonna say engine sound dot and pause then we're gonna say engine sound dot pitch and the pitch gonna be equals to 0 0.5 and then after this we're gonna say engine sound dot volume equals to 0 0.2 okay because we want to keep the uh, low idle pitch okay so that's why we are adjusting these values at a very low number okay you can always change these numbers according to your own liking but i will leave this as it is right now right here we're gonna say engine sound dot play and then engine sound dot pause okay then save the script get back right here as you can see we uh, added both of the engines uh, clip and engine uh, audio source right there but also make sure that you drag and drop this engine sound in this audio clip okay and then if you play the game you will notice that now the car will have 
engine sound as you can see this is the idle sound okay and you will notice the pitch and the volume it will be set at according to whatever values we provided okay so now if we start the vehicle as you can see the vehicle is starting and when we stop the vehicle stop okay now as you can see the volume and pitch is decreasing okay So the engine sound is playing perfectly fine. You can also uh, find any other engine uh, audio audio clip for your car, and you can also, as I told you, uh, mess up with the pitch and the volume to make the car sound more realistic. Okay. With this done, let's end this video right here.